Sorry. My children, let us give thanks for this bountiful food. And let us also give thanks for the presence of this brave young man whom we honor here tonight. Please, sir, I wish you wouldn't. I've done nothing in my life worth honoring. First you rescue Zipporah from Egypt, then you defend my younger daughters from brigands. You think that is nothing? It seems you do not know what is worthy of honor. A single thread in a tapestry, though its color brightly shine, can never see its purpose in the pattern of the grand design. And the stone that sits on the very top of the mountain's mighty face does it think it's more important than the stones that form the base? So how can you see what your life is worth or where your value lies? You can never see through the eyes of man. You must look at your life. Look at your life through heaven's eyes. Now, I don't know how. A lake of gold in the desert sand is less than a cool, fresh spring. And to one lost sheep, a shepherd boy is greater than the richest king. If a man lose everything he owns, has he truly lost his worth? Or is it the beginning of a new and brighter birth? So how do you measure the worth of a man in wealth or strength or size? In how much he gained or how much he gave? The answer will come. The answer will come to him who tries to look at his life through heaven's eyes. And that's why we share all we have with you, though there's little to be found. When all you've got is nothing, there's a lot to go around. No life can escape being blown about by the winds of change and chance. And no, you never know all the steps. Dance with me. No, you I, must I, learn no. to join no. the dance. <laughs> you must learn to join the dance. Look at your life, look at your life through hell. 